So starting, so today we'll be looking at uh, chapter seven of, we are going through chapter seven of the ggplot2 book, which is the grammar of graphics. And uh, we have uh, Gwen uh, here to take us through the chapter, so which is about uh, network. So uh, Gwen, I think over to you. Hi, so this is um, uh, chapter seven is on networks. And um, so network data has, um, you know, so these, this is what we're gonna be talking about today is, is what network data is and what does it look like? Um, functions and geomes that can be used to, to, to plot these and, um, and visualization of nodes and ed edges as, as abstract concepts um concepts so um these are some of the functions that be, can can be used to graph uh networks um or i'm sorry the packages and we there's tidy graph uh gg graph and i graph and please uh if anyone who's here please just interrupt me at any point if you have any questions i'm uh i'm uh you know open to questions um um and um you know and this is also a, a topic that's kind of new to me so i'm you know if, if you have some questions maybe you know we can explore them together so anyway so um so we have tidy graph gg graph and i graph and uh this is uh used to manipulate them um and this is used for generating, and this is also um, used for um, for visualization. So, what is network data? So, uh, the way that the way that I think of the, the thing that that occurred to me uh, in, that network data is is that I don't know if you know about direct acyclic acyclic graphs. These are graphs that are used a lot in um, causal inference. Um, and um, so that's the that's that's I think the the thing that I'm the, the where I'm most familiar with with using it, right? So for example, uh, one of the ones that that we know about that that is or that I've heard of over and over again is is uh, you know, there's this uh, at the at the country level, or uh, at the country level, if you plot, you know, let me see if I can find it. Sorry, at the country level, smoking versus um, lifespan, life expectancy at the country level, right? So at the country level, the uh, the smoking, if you, at the country level, let me look at this so if I can find this image, right? But as at, the, oh, let me see if I can find it. Maybe it's here. But at the country level, there's this, there's this increase in, in, in lifespan as more people smoke is, is basically what happens. And so, but, but that's correlated, uh, that's correlated because it has to do with wealth, right? And so you have this this mechanism of of smoking, and um, I'm not sure which one of these plots might be the best one, but you have uh, so you have wealth right here, and that impacts upon smoking levels, and it also impacts upon life expectan expectancy. And so there's this relationship between wealth and smoking, smoking levels and, um, and life expectancy. And so that's, you know, these kinds of relationships are explained through direct acyclical graphs and there's, and um, causal inference is, is, um, you know, is, is the way is, is the format that I'm most familiar with these, with these plots. Okay. So, um, so we have, and, and just like here, where we have this direct acyclical graph here, we have wealth, right? Which is a node. And then we have these edges, right? And um, a lot of the ones that we'll be looking at today aren't directional. So there's no kind of, uh, you know, they're not typically um, a, um, um, DAGs or direct 
directed acyclic graphs. They're just um, to to, to uh, explore relationships between these things. So, for example, it could be um, I'm not I'm trying to think of one like who has friend like friendship connections or something like that. So here we here we go. So let's let's just keep going a little bit so I'm giving you an idea of what it it what these do. And so there's this uh, tidy graph package and activate um, informs tidy graph which part of the network you want to work on. And then this uh, gives you access to the node data. And then this is the edge data and this is the, the whole graph, right? And um, so here we go through and we sample. This is our sampling, you know, instead of, you know, sometimes we'll have like random uniform, but this is the, the way that we sample. And then we have that there are 10 nodes and we activate the nodes and, uh, and then sample from, you know, A through D to make them, to, to classify them. Um, and this would be the number of rows. And then we activate the edges and then we arrange the nodes in, in the class. Um, you know, so I'm not exactly sure what this does class from, oh, I'm not exactly sure what this does, but I know that this has to do with the nodes. And so then we have, this is what the data looks like. And this gives us the, the classes of the data, right? So this will say from here to there, right? So from node from six to two, and, and that's one of the issues with, with these, with this kind of data is that there are, we have both the, there's, there's a, a direction, I think, here, and then there's also a, uh, you know, a, 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 a classification, a name of the node. So does that make sense? I'm not sure that this, I, I so this is my first time dealing really with network data. So I'm, I'm, I don't feel that I'm an expert on it. And if you have questions, maybe we can, um, if you articulate them, it might help us figure out a little bit about what's going on. Um, I, I was just wondering uh, if you could like send the link to that smoking study on, on the Slack. The, the which link? Uh, for uh, the, what's it called it? The smoking study um, when it comes to like life expectancy. Or, oh, this or, one? Yeah, or I just, just for like an extra example. Okay, um, so I'm not sure which one of these is is actually that one, but I I'm I'm not. Uh, it's okay. This is like a, no, a, I think this might be the one here. So so this looks like it's country level. Oh yeah, so this is smoking rates, but I'll I'll let me look at that. Um, um, let me just a better confounded confounded by income all yeah I'll have to look up that one. That's the one that I know that's 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 the most common. Or um but uh, but looking for the ref the citation for that is um is not something I have off the top of my head. Uh but I know um but but I'll I'll see if I can find it later. Okay, thank you. And if I don't, just ping me, and uh, and I'll look some more. I don't. Know. Yeah. Okay. So and but I think it's a lot in. Um, yeah. So anyway, let's let's keep going. Um, so here we have this, and and that's one of the the issues with this data is that we have, uh, we have we have both both uh this and that. Okay. 
So then, um, so we have two issues here. So anyway, data can be converted um, with as table graph. Um, and so here we have from one to 14, and then this is a year. So we have three pieces of information just like we did before. And, uh, right, and here we've separated it. So here we've separated it. So this is, um, so we have, as we had before with this, um, two, two, two tables that, that are required to do this. So we have the year, and then we also have this uh, classify our name, which which before we had the A, B, C, or D. Okay, so and then here's another uh, data set that we can look at, which is this love colors, um, with six hundred and four very with six hundred and fifty five observations and four variables. So here we have. Um, so I think this is um, this is. This must be some kind of, you know, you know how you have, so I'm not sure, uh, I don't know how much you know about color, but you have, um, you know, like in, uh, we often learn that you have the primary colors. And so this is how to make the color white, it looks like. And um, so this is, you know, this is red, green, blue, S red, green, blue. And then I guess there's other ways to do that as well. And so this, this tells you which color it is. And so here, this is what it looks like in a graph. So I guess, uh, so here we have the color. Um, A, E, S, U, V. Right, so the color would be this color here, right? And then we've plotted with the U and the V and, uh, depending upon what the UNV format are, we have this, um, this color that's given to us here. All right, so, and here's another one. And, oh, so this is a, um, what do we call this? Um, shoot, I can't remember the name of it. What are these called? Does anyone remember what these scatter plots are called? My brain just shut shut off. I know that I've seen them before in um. Oh, all off by me. Yeah. Oh no, it's not facets. It's the other one that I'm thinking of. So in this um, is uh, base graphics. Yeah, it is a base graph, but it's called, there's a particular way that it's called. Um, uh, correlation matrix is. Yeah, the, the correlation, it's, it's, what's the name of that? GG, GG ally. And it's the, the pairs plot. That's what I'm thinking. It's a pairs plot, right? So this is a pairs plot. And um, what's really interesting is that the, there's so many where U is zero. And it looks like there's a lot where V is zero too. But that does there isn't a line where L is zero. So that's really weird. There's nothing where L is zero. Or maybe that has to do with lightness. I don't know what the L, why L was never be zero. Bye, Zainab. Okay, so here, yeah, so we have the where the V, anyway, it's very interesting, right? And looks like there's a, um, anyway, so let's, we'll just keep going. So this is, yeah, so, okay, so let's keep going um, with the tidy graph. We can tr transform the data set into classes to make it ready for use for 
for making a visualization of the network data. So here we've updated it um, and updated the class of the of the graph um, using this function. And so now, um, right, instead of it being this way that it was before, so that was love cluster, wasn't it? Um, class, love class. Oh, okay. So now we changed it to cluster and we've done these columns and we've somehow, but we found the distance between them. And um, now we're updating it to a, a table graph. And so we're looking at it here. So we have height, leaf, label, and members. Is this the same thing as we were looking at before? This doesn't look like it. I'm not sure what, oh, I think because maybe because it's the distance. I'm not sure what's going on here. Does anyone know? Okay. So somehow we've updated this. So here we have the to and from, which we're familiar with from before. And then and I'm not sure what's happening here. Okay, so somehow we've updated it. Uh, and I guess it's, the point is to see that, that there's different ways that you can format the data. And then we would, you would do, um, you would work, um, you, the, the, those different formats, you would have different ways of plotting them. Okay, so here we have algorithms and we activate the nodes and we have, um, and, and the, so the centrality is how, uh, how, how close it is to the other points uh, and how many, how many other, how close it is to the, to the other uh, inputs. So we have this here. And we have, so we've added on the centrality from before. And there we go. So this is another way to look at the network. And this, this is something else that might be important for us to plot. Okay, so now let's look at, uh, so visualizing networks. And um, so here is the GG graph, and then we have these geome functions. Um, and here's data from high school. And here's the plots, the plot of the high school, right? So we have, um, we add the edge, the links. And then we add the nodes, make the nodes points. And so uh, this is what this plot look, looks like. Um, someone has, oh, thank you. <laughs> Here's another one. A second example has more features and we um, activate edges and the edges, the, the weights of the edges we, uh, do some kind of uniform. Uh, we add some uniform zero one, uh, where N is the number, you know, the, the number of rows probably in this, in this. And, um, and so now we have some weight to these, the edges from before. So they're not all the same color. So this one is different uh this one has uh 
every edge has the same weight. And this one, the edge is different based on upon this uniform that we've added. Uh, and so we've added this scale edge alpha identity and the node point here. And um, the links we've, or the edges for the links we've added, um, the alpha, uh, which is uh, how dark it is, the opacity. The opacity is based on this edge wink. So this is a, a you know, these this these darker lines, I guess, would be stronger relationships. Um, so and here are some uh, different layouts. Uh, with with a DRL layout. DRL direct force directed graph layout in this package uh, that we can find in the I the I graph package. And so right, this one's different now. We've now created the a different layout. Um so I'm not exactly sure what a DRL, why why one would want to use a DRL over the the default. Uh, so I'm not sure. That's I mean this is not some. So I'm not. If does anyone does anyone know or should I? We can Google can that if anyone. The, can we check the documentation for the DRL function? So I have not checked. You're going to check it. So I was just going to check DRL. What do they call it? Force directed graph layout. I'm to something. I'm... benefits of this. What is this? Here we go. Force directed graph layouts. Yeah. Minimizes overlaps in the graph, evenly distributes nodes and links and organizes its items so the links are okay. So it looks like that's what it does. So sometimes so it looks like it looks like this one um reduces overlapping whereas this one has more overlapping so that i see that that makes sense i think kamakalakawa Yeah, so this is another layout that I'm not familiar with either. Kamakaurakawa layout. A two level dictionary of optimal distances between nodes indexed by source and destination code. That uh, versus uh, what was it? The other one that we were lying, doing. Well, maybe we can just look at it and see. Actually, I like this one. So this one has a factor. So it, it this one, I, you can change it by the color. And um, this one is uh, the color is the same for each one. 
and force directed graph layout. So let's see. Anyway, there's lots of different way layouts for this. Um, the disadvantage. Okay, so that's, oh, what's this? Hmm, so the Kamakawa, they tend to dis, dis mm. they tend to disconnected components tend to drift further apart. Okay, so we have half an hour left. I'm just, I just want to um, go through, uh, uh, make sure that we have enough time to finish this. This is not based on a physical model of spring. So there's some kind of springing inherent in this. Okay, so I think, Anyway, there's there's a number of different ways to look at these. Uh, it's visualizing networks isn't something I do very frequently. So so uh, uh, a very simple example to understand how to how to make a graph network is from this tutorial. So this would be a good thing for us to look at if we were ever going to do this uh, to understand a bit more about the graph structure. We can use these functions. So this tells us the edges from this graph. Uh, so we have one to two. Look at this. Look at that. So you input it with a space. Directed equals false must mean. Directed must be false here. And then here it gives us the vertices. Okay. And this must be uh what was the first one one to two two to three yeah so this i don't i don't see how this relates to this one to two one to three but here's the matrix and then this is one, this is this section I quite liked because you can make it circular and I kind of liked the, the circular ones. Uh, so here's the love graph, but in a circular format. And um, you change this, I think by adding this dendrogram, uh, but then you can update it here further using the co polar coordinates. And that makes, um, these not necessarily necessarily these kind of do not become lines they kind of uh become uh circular some kind of a segment of some kind of circle so uh let's go through and draw some no nodes uh here we have these here uh, and so this is the same graph, but now we're using the color looks like someplace, the factor from the members, and it shows the legend there. And then you can, uh, so then you can also do the centrality power, the centrality or the, the degree. Um, and so this, these, the ones that are more central or more are a different color than the ones that are further away. Um, and then we can add, this is a tree map, the, the trees. And so I th think these on the outer edges are darker. And then the ones in the interim are, are, uh, are, are there. And so and then we can draw more edges. There's different ways to draw the edges. So if you look up here, we have the geom edge link, which we've seen a couple times before. 
And then we can have the edge elbow. There's different ways to draw them. So, so I'm sure if you remember up here, so we have, we've had this function, there's different ways to do that. And here we've adjusted the opacity. And I'm not sure what this stress layout means, but that's another thing we can look at if later if we want to, if we have time. Um, node class. So here, here we we activate the nodes, um, and then we come up with a class, and we activate the edges, and um, then we arrange it with the class. And here's the result. Right. So these are all the A's, um, the B's, and C's, and the D's are on opposite sides. These ones are the C's. I like this one, the parallel edges. It's nice to look at. And then here we have dendrograms which is used a lot in um, in um, genomics. It's used a lot in genomics and 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 so you'll have you know two thousand years ago uh, bacteria separated from. <laughs> separated from other things or something. And so this is used a lot in genomics. And so here is, this is more the, the DAG, the direct acyclic, cyclical, directed acyclic graph we have there. And an edge is not always a line, mm -hmm. right? So here's another example where we can use um, a point as an edge. And then we can use faceting. from 1957 and then 1958. So we facet with that the year. Okay. And so then let's go back to the conclusions. You know, this is what I'll do next time is I'll look at some of these meeting videos when I'm a little lost. I'm not sure what I'm doing. So, and then we have, uh, so that's all I have to go to talk about today. But next time I'll, next time, because this honestly networks is not something I'm very familiar with. This is my first time encountering them. So there you go. Does anyone have any questions? For me, I don't have a question now. I want to really thank you for putting us uh, through this chapter. I don't know if uh, anybody has any question. Hello. No, no, no question. Okay, thank okay. you for coming. So I, hopefully, just... um, I think I think the other chapters are. I think these two chapters are 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 kind of you know um, outliers in terms of their. If you have a different kind of data, what do you do? And if you don't, I, I think the other ones were were more things that I'm. I, most of us that I'm planning on learning or that are more. What's the word? Um, Things that I'm, I'm. Most of us are more familiar with. But does anyone here deal with networks regularly or not? Me, I do not deal with uh, network uh, regularly. I, 
So. Yeah, I've, I've never plotted a network before, but I knew that we needed someone to do this. So I just did it. Um, have you, do you, I'm the other person, I'm not sure what your name is. Ita Ayer Saf. Ita Ayer Saf. I don't know the name. It's Mutero. So I'll just put stop here. 